Okay, so this is the Bosch GLS2. Uh, it comes in this box, and you're gonna see it in a second. It's a laser that is used to check the flatness and levelness of a floor, concrete floor, or whatever floor you, you want. Comes with the laser itself, instruction manual, and the target plate. It's magnetic so you can move it up and down. Just a magnetic plate so it can go up and down. And you're going to use this to measure the difference in height, whether it be higher or lower. So it comes, also comes with a remote control and glasses just in case you need to use it outdoor or if you need it to make the line more visible. So this um, takes either four uh, AA batteries or there's an optional rechargeable batteries that can also be inserted. Um, right now on this one there's four AA batteries. So to turn it on, first of all it's self-leveling. And, and um, to turn it on, you can switch over here. And what it does, it throws out two beams. Two beams from the front. One here and one here. So you put it on a surface and you let it level itself out. Okay, so it throws out two beams, as you can see. And you adjust with this knob here, turn it until the two beams coincide as one. And where you bring, to b bring them together, that's gonna to be the reference point where the rest of the floor is gonna be measured against. So I'm gonna turn, turn this knob here until those two lines come together. Okay, so you got the lines together. So that is going to be your reference point where all the rest of the floor is going to be measured. So you got the remote control and you can either go make it go one way or the other so that the machine rotates and as it rotates where the lines come apart indicates that the floor is not at the same level. So I'm going to get it going here by pressing so it turns see I can pause it, see the lines are starting to come apart hard to see in, in uh, the camera but I'll just let it go a little bit more and as it turns see where the lines come apart that means that this part of the floor is a different height to our reference point and you can mark it with a mark or with a pencil I'm not going to do it in here because this is a finished terrazzo floor okay so as the lines come apart, that means that they're at a different height. Comes back together, comes apart again, and comes back together. So this area here has ups and downs. So as it goes around, as it goes around, you can see the lines come together and come apart. Come together, come apart. So you would mark the 
this area here. See where it starts and where it ends. So I'm gonna make it go faster. And as it comes around, you can see where the floor differs in height. And it comes back together where the floor is at the same height as the reference point. And so we're back again at the reference point where the uh, we originally started and the lines are back together again. So as the machine rotates and the lines diverge from each other, it indicates where the level of the floor is different to our reference point. Now this floor isn't too bad, so it doesn't show up a lot. I'm going to put it in another spot um, in a few minutes where you're going to see a real big difference in, uh, in level. So that's basically how this operates. So when these two beams are on the two reference lines, just line it up with the left beam with this, and you and the other beam will show the difference in height. When this beam is to the left of that line, like that, it indicates that the floor is lower. When this beam is to the right of that line, it indicates that the floor is higher. So that's what this this tool is used for, to tell you what the height difference is. It's graduated, and you can read the height difference. So when both lines, both reference lines, these are the two reference lines, this line will always be lined up with that. And then as this mo moves from one side to the other, from one side to the other, on this side it means that the floor is a depression. On this side it means that there's an elevation. So this is the line that tells you where, how, what the height difference is. And this is a reference line that has to be aligned. It has to be aligned with that. That would be that beam now. So I lined this here with this side of that line. And you go read it on the other side. And it's in eighth inch in increments. So it's not very far out of level. It's, it's actually, this floor is actually quite good. But it just shows you how, uh, how much it shows the variation in the floor. So this floor really is only about at this distance here, it's only really about uh, less than an eighth of an inch out, which isn't bad for, for, this, for this floor. It's a terrazzo floor, it should be pretty flat anyway. But anyway, it just gives you, shows you how, how accurate this thing is. So that's the basic operation of, you can go backwards, you can go forwards, go fast forward, Pause it, fast forward, or one direction, or the other direction, whatever you want to call it. Pause it. Slow it down. So, in this way, you, you, um, you can find where the high spots and the low spots of all the floor are, of all the, the entire floor. And you mark with a marker or whatever. The differences in height. Okay, so just to demonstrate the glasses, so it, you, you can barely see that line. You put the glasses on, and you can actually see it quite well. Okay, so I've set, set it up. This is a garage floor, and I know that the floor slopes down that way. So. I've set it up so this is my reference height. And 
So everything is going to be measured against this, this area here. So let's turn it on and see what we get. Actually, let's go the other way. So I'm going to go on actually the other way. Fast forward, so fast rotation, so we can see quickly, see how the height difference varies. Here it actually crosses over, so one spot is lower or higher, and the other spot is actually the opposite. The lines cross over here. Uh, I'll show you that in a different area in a minute. So, just gonna let it go, and as you can see, the lines diverge and this is all measured against that our, our reference spot and this, as it gets further and further further away especially towards the garage door see now here it's actually the same level as a spot over there. This is one line. You can see it better with the, uh, the glasses here. And just out of, just so you know, the um, for the remote to work, it has to be pointing towards the machine. If you point it away, it won't get the signal. I'm going to press the button here. It doesn't do anything, but if I point it towards it, obviously it goes. You can try and bounce, bounce the signal off a wall, and it'll go. But you have to, it has to have some kind of, um, it has to receive the signal. Now over here, you can see the line goes up and down. So anyway, so that's, that's how this works. The, um, and then you're going to mark with a pencil or a marker, you're going to mark these areas and you will know uh, what's high and what's low. So now I'm going to use the uh, measuring plate so we can see how that works. So here you can see that the lines intersect, they come apart, they cross over, and then they separate again. So what that means is this side of the floor is lower and this side of the floor is higher. Now I'm going to use the measuring tool here to uh, see what the difference in height is. Okay, so I lined it up with the left beam, and this tells me that this floor is between three quarters and seven eighths inch lower in this area. Now I'm going to move it up to here. Again, difference to our reference point. So I'm going to line it up over here. And this side over here is about an inch and a half above our reference point. So we've got a good difference in height between these two spots here. And you know, by using this tool here, you actually know what that difference is.